Hey, what's up my chemistry people? We are gonna do some quick problems to practice this idea of neutralization reactions and predicting the products in a neutralization reaction. Now, before we begin, important to remember that neutralization reactions are examples of double replacement reactions. So as I look at problem number one, the first thing I'm gonna do is recognize that the hydrogen from my acid, carbonic acid, and the hydroxide from my base are gonna to come together to form water. Again, a neutralization reaction, we're going to form water as one of our products. Now, we are also going to form an aqueous salt. In this case, it is going to be the cation from the base and the anion from the acid. If we use our nomenclature here, recognize that it's gonna be Na2CO3 because my carbonate ion carries a negative two charge. Always go back and make sure that your equation is balanced. In order to balance this equation, I notice that I have two sodiums on the product side, only one on the reactant side. We put a coefficient of two here, and then to balance my number of hydrogens, I'm gonna put a, num a coefficient of two here, which will also balance my number of oxygens. Boom, neutralization reaction. As I take a look at problem number two, I'm now reacting HClO4 or perchloric acid with sodium hydroxide. Again, I always like to start by making the water molecule, taking the H from my acid, the OH from my base to form H2O. Again, neutralization. Aqueous salt that forms is gonna use the cation from my base, the anion from my acid, and in this example, I'm gonna form sodium perchlorate. In this case, it's just one to one because the sodium ion is plus one and the perchlorate ion is minus one. Again, before you finish, you wanna make sure that everything is balanced. In this case, it works out really nicely. The coefficients of everything in this neutralization reaction, this neutralization reaction is a one. Boom, and we are done.